It's on. Hi, welcome to Arty Crafty Alchemy. I'm just trying to get everything set up and lined up so that everybody will be able to see. Oh, there we go. Oh. Stop playing with it. Okay, I think there is good. It's crooked. That's crooked. <sighs> Look, it's crooked. How's that? Is that better? Yeah, it's a little bit better. I have it. You're all good. Yeah, I know, but I need to be able to see what I'm doing as well to make sure that I'm in the shot. I can tell if you're in the shot. Oh, there's two people watching. Yeah, you're me. <laughs> Why is it green? I don't know. Oh. So while we wait and see if somebody is going to come and join us tonight, I might open these up if I can. Yeah, your scissors are down there on the ground. I'm gonna use a palette knife. Okay. Here's little magnets on top of them instead of on the bottom. So these, I don't know if they're meant to be brooches or what they're meant to be, but they have very strong magnets on the bottom. Oh, there's five people watching. Okay, I'll just open these up. They're all different ones. So I've just grabbed one of each of these out. I actually have quite oh, quite a lot of them. See why that one's not working, it's a bit bent. Okay, it's got little pieces of metal under there that I can bend to make it stick up, make the wings stick up. I have a chin stuck in my hair. Everybody's gonna be able to hear you humming. I know what chin it is. What tune was I singing when I had that video that I was listening to? I do not know. This dragonfly is really cute. Now there is a story with these. These were all from the tip. Go, yeah, from the tip. They were from going. My cousin's tip, isn't it? These all got rescued from going into landfill. Somebody was going to just throw them all away, not even donate them to a charity. Oh, I just lost the frog. Oh no, I've lost our little froggy. But they were all going to be donated to, um, they were all not going to be donated, they were all going to go into landfill and they got rescued. And so I was lucky enough to be given a bunch of them. Can you see if there's another frog in the box, please? Because I've lost the frog. Where's the box? Damn it. So we have two pretty butterflies, two, two different turtles, a dragonfly, one little mousy. There was only one little mousey that I got. I don't know if there's another frog and I've lost the frog. <laughs> but I do have quite a few of each of these. I think only two of the grey ones. The frog's in a small one if there is one. Do you have the yellow one above? Yeah. Oh no, 
Do you, can you see if you can see it under there? I tried. I don't wanna. The little dragonflies made out of, or well, all their bodies are made out of wood. I'm not sure about these. They might be made out of wood too, but I'm not sure. But he even has a finely tapered end to his little tail. <laughs> He's so cute. I found a frog. It's behind us here. Which frog is it? That one. This one. What? This one. Yeah. Um, I can see, oh, I can see it's this, I think, I can't know. Okay, I, I see, see the froggy. I got the froggy. I'm and one little I'm froggy. I'm the one that got the food packet and he put on one in the front of me. Yeah, but I got it out. Don't <laughs> argue. And his order. And so I forgot, I was actually at the tip where they were and I didn't, remember how many of each I had and they had extra mice and extra frogs so if they still have some when I go next time I will grab a couple of extra mice and frogs because I know a couple of people who'd be interested in the mice and the frog so that was a random Christmas gift that I was given to save them going into landfill Just want to get them put back away so they don't get damaged. Do you want to help me, please? My bear is so warm. <laughs> Your bear is so warm. I thought you said libraries are so warm. My bear is. My bear is so warm. I don't have a box. I have no boxes, so I can't help. Damn it! How am I meant to know which ones goes in which then? Well, the flat one goes in the butterfly. These two are the... No. These two are the... Whoa. And one of these... Two of That's these. that one. That one came out of that one. So we'll just get these put away so they don't get damaged. Which one is it? I think that's that one. This one goes in here. Them to the side, please. I'm like by their their face planted. Put in my kids. Now from. My mum, I also got this little paper trimmer. I'm not sure how it cuts. Let's see. Okay. <laughs> Just grab a random piece of cardstock and see if we can work out how this. Oh, let me start from that end. Okay. Looks like the blade is a bit blunt on it. Oh well, that's, that's alright. I can give that back to her and she will do what she will with it. <laughs> do you want to just do that with it? 
uh, random decorated with stickers book. It's just it's empty, so I can use it for writing whatever I want to into it. They always come in handy. I always need books to write in. That's great. She had these golden crush Schwarzkopf color sprays. They last one one um, wash. wash and they're a kind of goldy tone I guess you're supposed to spray on your hair to get an ombre look but they're a bit strange anyway my daughter wants to wear it for her school photos maybe I think she's changed her mind now a random bag of tree confetti stuff, tree sh shred. Some really, really old paper kits that used to be in a junk shop around here. So there's this one, which is a girl type kit. You can see that one marked at $2 originally. Then there's the snowflakey one. Then there is this baby boy one, which has lots of chipboard and stickers and things in there, which is pretty cool. Four sheets, designer paper, two solid, nine epoxy stickers, three handmade stickers, 25 die cuts, 43 alphabets, and 27 chipboard glitter accents. So that's pretty cool. Some of them have fallen out, but they're all in there, just in different spots. And then there is a baby girl one, the same as that, but most of the extra bits are missing. So that just has the epoxy stickers and the handmade stickers. And then there is this sheet of peekaboo. Peekaboo Girl stickers. I actually have the papers that go with this, so it'll come in handy. I have the paper pad and the 12 by 12 and well, some of the 12 by 12s I think. I'll do this as all one lot. This is just a giant bunch. Oh, that's different. These are just all different coloured papers that the, a lady had bought for punching things. But the coloured paper comes in handy for all different things. Is that paper? Yep, that's paper too. Lana says hi. Hi Lana. Hello. And then there's some random card stuff. This is more stuff my mum's given me. And she said she's cleaning out her house and I'm going to get a lot more. And then there's this old paper that has the cranky looking bee at the top up there and the frog wanting to eat the bee by the looks. Pass me the boxes and I'll, so we can show Lana. Most of this is just random stuff. I don't even know what it is. Mum's just like, do you want this? Do you want this? Do you want this? Put it all in the box. So these are cut cards with a bit cut out to make cut out cards. Some of them are in weird places. But they are only two-fold cards, not tri-fold cards. So... That one just totally opens up the wrong way. That's a bit strange. <laughs> and then there's a random butterfly and some random beads. Oh, something I got for Christmas was... Oh, I put the mask upside down. Aww. Was these, they magnetic little bugs. Oh, I put the butterfly in upside down too. And 
they were taken to the tip and they were going to be thrown away and so they got rescued by the people that work there and so I was lucky enough to get my hands on quite a few of them we have some turtles two different turtles a frog a yellow butterfly and a dragonfly so they're quite cute And then there's some quilling paper, more quilling paper. These are just folded card inserts, so they're already done. I don't really use inserts a lot now. Metallic paper? Is it papery or cardstock? It's paper. It has a white backing on it. Thank goodness. It looked very thin. I thought it was going to be like sheets of plastic. Plastic is bad for the environment. It kills our animals and then it goes into the sea. And then I have some more, oh that's pretty, random pieces of paper. Let's see if I can pull one of these back ones out. So I've got that one and I'll pull this one, back one out. That one. With the poppies. The poppies are really pretty. The poppies are nice to see. Pardon? I like the poppies. Now I can't get them back in, of course. And I've got a pack of corrugated cardstock. It is gold and silver. Yeah, I remember doing that with the tool that you make it do that thing. Inserts for Christmas cards. Christmas is the season of love and joy for sharing beautiful moments and for creating warm and wonderful memories. Greeting you at Christmas with wishes warm and true for every joy and happiness throughout the year for you. That's sweet. Do you know what this is, Lana? It is called Gutta. TBO Gutta. Water based Gutta. And it's pearl blue, but she's lost, well, she got it without the lid. So I don't have a lid, but I'm not 100% sure what gutter is. And then I've just got some random. Elastic. Yeah, that. <laughs> Had a mount. Mine blank then. says was it open all the time the no it's still sealed shut it has the seal the metal seal in there so one day when i empty a paint tube i'll steal a lid and stick it on there, be able to stick it on there <laughs> did, you say did you need another subject um i don't really think so but i think i got that off mum so you could have another subject okay. there you go thank you what did you say before him about me coloring Okay. Yes. Um, oh, oh, this looks like a little writing kit. These papers, I love the colour. So pretty. Of course, because it's purple. And the deckled edge. That's purple nice. is my favourite colour. Churston mm -hmm. Deckle, 42 sheets. This looks very old. Mauve Orchid. A Dickinson Robinson Group product. Made in Great Britain. Oh, it's a Britain product. Queens That's interesting. Happy. Looks really old. Mine would be happy. I think. Oh. I think so they're not falling. So there's more oh. different papers. Oh, that's really pretty. I like that. Melinda says hello. Hi, Melinda. And, and Lana says otherwise, if it was dried out, you could cut the tube open and still use the paint. I thought that. I thought it might be like a water, colour water based type thing because it's PBO, but, and it, it's quite pliable still. I just wasn't sure what it is. It's just, and yeah, so it's pearl blue, but I'm sure I can steal a lid off something to put on there. I'm glad you're here, Melinda, because I actually have something to show you in a little while <laughs> that I'm going to ask you if you want some of. Um, 
scissors, scissors, scissors. Oh, actually, hang on. Yeah, that's why you have scissors on there. There you go. Oh, you so that's, uh, oh, there's two different ones in there. The two, the, the three. Yep, two different ones. So again, just paper for writing letters, but really pretty and can be repurposed. Oh, and butterflies. Okay. Oh, here's where the fun begins. Oh no. I need to find out who of my friends likes to paper towel. Because I don't mind paper towel if the paper towel is already cut. I'm just waiting to grab a couple of random things before I do this. Um, Miranda says I have to wait. <laughs> you have to wait for what? <laughs> That's the one thing you do that to. Um, so this is punch paper in greens. Oh, that's pretty. I love that colour. I like that colour too. It's really nice. That's I don't mind green. that colour. It's I'm not green. A, I'm not a huge green person, but I like mint. And oh, I like... Crafty Kylie says, evening everyone. Hope you're all doing well. Hi, Kylie. Hi, we are good here, thank you. I'm tired, but you know, I'm all good. Get... Well, you're always tired. Uh, so... got no idea. Does anybody know what colour the Candy Crush title is? Because I don't have the lock on anyway. <laughs> Actually, hang on, do I? No, I don't. So, I have all these paper towels, but I don't do the fussy cutting. So, I am looking for crafty people who do fussy cutting, who would like maybe a random selection. Oh, that one's another set of papers. An ocean theme. That's pretty cool. So I like the ones that are already cut out. Some that I might keep like this one just because they're so cute. But a lot of them I'm going to pass on to crafty friends. This is just some um, wrapping paper with butterflies. I don't mind cutting out big things like butterflies. That's not too bad. But when you get fiddly little things like yeah. this, I draw the line. So mermaid. It's yellow. I found out myself. It's all good. Kitty cats. Again, a lot of this stuff is from the lady that I was talking about before that has gone into a nursing home now. I don't have a drink of water. <laughs> says, I don't like paper towel unless it perforated either so far. Ah. Yeah, I thought that, Melinda, I thought that it would be a bit hard. With your vision so <laughs> that's okay i have something else that you might be interested in that's coming up very soon then i've got these pandas cute but again that looks like a very big pain to cut out because it's got like the little tufts of hair oh my goodness yeah i can't do tufts. this one's an easy one the teddy bear i could do that one no worries and this is some pretty bird wrapping paper that's been like cut into bits. Bird. Oh, and gum nuts. Instead, am my patience, Melinda? <laughs> I don't have the patience for it myself. Then there's some baby stickers. I think they'll probably go in my giveaway. Some paper towel flowers. Paper towel towel. Bleh. Can't speak. Paper towel candles. Oh, but look at that. You have to cut out that little bit in there too. That's ridiculous. That's okay. That is ridiculous. Um, see, I, that. I originally didn't take these because I didn't I knew I wouldn't paper towel with them, but mum ended up giving them to me and said, send them to your friends. So that's what I'm going to do. So we have some poinsettias. Flowers. Where do those flowers come from? Mm -hmm. I'm confused. Mm -hmm. We have these two scenes and then we just have these random flowers that don't go on anything. <laughs> I 
can see where they go. I can not see where any of that goes. Okay, I'm confused. <laughs> we have lily pads. Are they lilies or orchids? Show me. I think they're... Ah, oh, I get confused. I don't know my flowers. More teddy bears. Musical instruments. Piano and sax. Some cute bear ones. Some more flowers. More flowers. More flowers. <laughs> Running thing. We have a beach scene. We have harps and violins. Birdies. I wonder if Wendy would like that one. Lighthouse with seagulls, pansies, daisies, babies. <laughs> oh dear. We just have some cows and some cars. I wonder if these are from a show. A tugboat and a train. They look very cartoonish like they'd be from a show. We have seagull, lighthouse, and a beach scene. Oh. And then we just have some random princesses. Hang on. Belle, Ariel, and Cinderella. Cinderella, Cinderella. That is all the paper towel. And most of that I'll be passing on to some people who would like it because I don't have the patience to cut out that fussy either. Then she had some blades and I'm trying to find some blades that will fit in some of the things that I have that need new blades but then there was also this itty bitty blade that has the very weird shape and it swivels so I don't know how that will work yeah. but and it's got the swivel Okay, first thing to show you, Melinda, that you might like some of. I've got a whole packet of these. There's 20 to 30 of them, so I was wondering maybe if you would like a couple of these, Melinda. You can make dream catches out of them. Kylie, if you would like some. Put your hand up. I don't mind sharing. As I said, I've got 20 to 30 of these. I think maybe if you're really careful, you could cut between them and turn them into two separate pieces. Even if you weren't careful, just stick something over the side of it and you wouldn't be able to okay. tell. So that was the first thing I had to ask if anyone would like some of them. And I got a Zig calli calligraphy oh. pen. Oh, calligraphy. And it is, let's see, it's got uh. so many stickers on it, I don't know if we're going to be able to find out the colour. Melinda says they are pretty as bees. Mum, do you have a colour I can use? Do they have a colour on them even? Okay. I'll find it. I don't think they do. That annoys me. I hate it when companies don't put the colours on things because I like to know what they are. Nope. Hi, Karina. Now, Mum, oh, actually, I'll start with the, these ones. I, like, I really like those ones, so we'll do them ones last. Mum gave me these. She was cleaning out her stuff, and I think these are from actually when we went along the Great Ocean Road when I was a child, so I definitely wanted these because this is from when one school holidays we had packed up the caravan and went down through Victoria and the Great Ocean Road. Most holidays we would go for a road trip and at, when she was married to a, a guy, they got divorced after a couple of years, but when they were married we used to every holidays go on a road trip around different places. So this particular time we went to the Great Ocean Road. I've never been. So this is a postcard 
a book of postcards from when we were down there. This is actually a really cool idea because you get the postcard to send and then you get the little bit of extra to keep as it's the same picture, just smaller. My only thing was, where's the 12 apostles? Because when I went down there, there were still 12 apostles. Yes, I'm that old. <laughs> now, I think, do you know how many there is now, Melinda? I think. It's only like seven or eight left now, isn't it? So I don't understand why the 12 apostles aren't on there, but anyway. Then these are from South Australia. We travelled around half of South Australia. And again, these are postcards and these have, some of these have deckled ed edges. We've got some crocodiles. We've got the Renmark Hotel. So a lot of these are from Renmark. Oh, what's this one? Scenic cliffs near Enmark. <laughs> oh, then we've got some. <laughs> the cabins are en suite, but don't forget which door is which Claudia up the Murray. <laughs> Claudia said there are eight, she thinks. Carry on up the Murray. The Murray so they're on... based on, I guess they're based on the carry on films. I've never been there. Food's great, but you have to eat with the staff up the Murray captain's table we drove and just got out at certain places <laughs> well I didn't drive because I can't drive <laughs> so this is from Tasmania I've never been to Tasmania so I don't know where these actually came from or who these came from. I'm not sure if mum's been to Tasmania. She may have been. Not that I'm aware of, but she may have been. She's been around a while. So <laughs> this is an old umbrella shop. I really love this postcard. This is awesome. That looks like somewhere I've been. But in Stock Tasmania. Exchange, Charters, Towers, Queensland. These are all in the one envelope. So maybe Queensland? they're bought as a set or something like this. Something like that. The Old Mill, Perth, Western Australia. Never been. And Old Government House, Parramatta, New South Wales. Oh, God. Wait, is that the one? Can, can I see this one? Oh, it's from Reader's Digest. There you go. And it says Historic Australian Towns. So that's Adelaide City on the front. That's pretty cool. Why does it feel like I've been to the old Parramatta House? Because you probably have. Isn't that the... Possibly you may have gone there on a school excursion. Yes, I have. Oh, again, there's random... Oh, hang on. One more thing. There's some Strathmore creative cards, 10 blank announcement cards and envelopes, and they all have a deckled edge, which is pretty cool. Even the envelopes have the deckled edge. I guess they've been around for a good long time because a couple of them are a little dirty, but that's all right. I'll use what I can. Oh, so sorry for the... <laughs> so this oh, is no. random glass beads. I am going to have so much fun when I get to sorting out beads. They were from a bracelet, but the bracelet broke, and so I've got all the pieces from Many bits these of little bracelets. bracelets. I've got these little joining bits, and then all these beads. Um, I don't even think all the beads are actually in there. Then I have the beads from the pieces from this big necklace. Thought they could be repurposed for something. They look pretty cool. I'm not sure what I'll do with this. This is an earring, uh, like the ear over ear thing, and it's missing one of its, or two of its gemstones. A random pair of earrings that I can repurpose the charms from. False nails. Why have she given me false nails? I don't know. Mum just throws stuff at me, I swear. <laughs> and we have the really old, funky 80s earrings, and I don't know what this was meant to be, but it has a bunch of these crystal beads on it. They're really pretty, so they'll get reused. 
We have a Scottish Terrier and a Dragonfly. It's a hair clip. Again, missing one or two of its little gems, but that's all right. And then these giant beads. I definitely said yes to them because I don't have a lot of giant beads. A random piece of fabric that if I ever actually sit down and make flowers I thought would be nice with the gold in it to make some flowers with. Then this little packet has little crocheted circles. Would you use some of these Melinda or Karina or Kylie? I have lots of these so I'm happy to share. Anybody who's watching, if they would like some happy mail, just let me know. I am slow at sending it out, but I do get there eventually. I actually have some for Melinda that I've had for about six months, and I actually made her something special just before Christmas, and I've lost it, and I'm sad. <laughs> I have some extra wide ribbon. It's very crinkly. Does it, does it have? A, yep, it has wire in that edges it's very stiff and crinkly ribbon but it's velvet in the middle then i have this beautiful doily which i'll stick over there with the laces and this piece of gorgeous lace i think mum was going to use it on a towel but then i think she decided because it had the join she had to put the join in it. She wasn't going to use it anymore, so it came my way. Usually these pieces she keeps for towels and things, so I don't know why. She could have probably used it on a, something smaller, but I ended up with it. We have this great big piece of apricot gathered lace. It looks like peach. And these pieces sticking together are all the same. They've just been cut up. And I need to check my stash because if I have some more of that, that will be going to my crafty friends. And then I have it in grey, which I don't think I have a lot of grey lace, so that's going to be handy. Melinda said, I love crochet things. Yes, please try and teach myself to crochet, not go anywhere. <laughs> I think I crocheted a face washer once and I can't remember how to do it. But my mum, she does it all the time. She puts stuff in a cottage in a little town not far away from here called Berry, and it's a very popular place to stop called the Berry Bazaar and she puts a bunch of stuff in there so she crochets a lot of stuff that goes in there so I have some rickrack huh? rickrack oh. this wide lemon lace which has had some tape on it by the looks of it I'm always too scared to wash them to see if they'll come clean. And then this little doily, I absolutely love doily flowers, so I thought these would be easy to cut apart and I'd get two, four, six, seven flowers out of that. So I love that. I was like, Mum, what are you doing with this? She goes, you can have it if you want. <laughs> so I said, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> um, and this little packet, I've got no idea what's in it again. Stuff mum just throws at me. Sorry for the crinkliness. Amen. So there are some barrel beads and then there are these weird beads and I don't have anything like that so I thought why not? And then it looks like there's a little a couple of little an earring and a little finding in there that has lost its little thing has snapped. So obviously mum's the bale. And there's a random bead. <laughs> so mum has tossed them my way. Some bangles. I think they'd be useful on canvases maybe just to make like small circle frames and things. So I never mind when she gives me them because I keep saying one day there's a lot of things I want to do. I need to get some organisation happening. Then there's a bunch of these pretty coloured seed beads. They are gorgeous. I love them purple and blue and teal showing up. Better homes and gardens earrings to make 
free make and take. So there's findings and bits for earrings in there. That's pretty cool. Flat back resin purple flowers. Cool. I don't think I have any of that colour. Look. I don't think I have any lilac ones. Oh, another itty bitty piece of lace. I think I have that lace out the wazoo. Then some orange rickrack. Some gold type beads. Seed beads. A goldy tone. Now this is a huge, huge amount of white beads. It is 12 strands. Strands. I can barely. Oh, I can sort of see them. You see the sparkle? No. They're very sort of shimmery, pearlescent. Very pretty. I can see some of the strands. Oh, you're looking on your phone. No wonder you can't see nothing. Yeah, so I'm trying to tell you if you can see them or <laughs> See, I'm being a good person telling you. And then there's some purple beads. Very shimmery. Okay. I'll try and get rid of all the stuff beside me. So the, this Can next you put the box? Yes, on top, please. <sighs> Miss Helper. <laughs> oh, I finally get to carry my candy crush soda book. Okay, this is from, not me, these two things are from my recent trip to Mum's, The Artist's Handbook by Angela Gare. So I just like to have a read of the random art book she gives me, have a look and see, it's got all different techniques and things in it hopefully learn some things practice some things if there's projects to practice uh -oh. and things like that i think there's different styles yeah, color theory oh. different painting and drawing mediums so step-by-step -step guide to drawing watercolor and oil painting there's something i've never tried oil painting Yes, Miss I SRC. How are you enjoying school this year? Mm. <laughs> um, stressful. <laughs> what, what was Thursday was stressful. Mum gave me an envelope punch board. I thought you had one. I do. Oh. Now I'm in two minds whether to give it away or not because I've heard that the punches stop working after a while and this one does not come out. I think the newer oh. ones they've made so that they come out and you can replace them, but I don't know. We'll see. Actually, that's what I wanted to test. Does this actually work? Oh, oh. Okay, push it. Katsu. Did you push it all the way down? Yeah. Did it work? Do it again. Try it again. Oh, hang on. Okay, go. Yeah, well, yeah, it seems to work all right. So that one hasn't come a cropper yet. I have photos on. Now, Melinda, for junk journals, do you think you would be interested in some of these? I have all these different, very, very old patterns. Look at that. Oh my goodness. It's got to be 70s, doesn't it? Mm. Printed in England. Odom's Leisure Group. What's that? I don't know. That's why we need more. That's say men's slippers. <laughs> oh goodness. I haven't looked through these, but when uh, these didn't come from mum they sort of did. I'm part of a cottage 
and people take things in there to swap and some stuff had been around for a very long time these had been there since before i joined and i didn't actually know about them to one day and they were giving them all to mum and they were just going to be donated and i thought maybe the ladies who make junk journals would like some so anybody who makes junk journals and would like some let me know and i will put some aside maybe pm me on the facebook facebook, facebook group so that i know who wants what what and i can send some to you i just thought they would be a different vintage thing it has the patterns and things and pictures and yeah so I thought they'd be a cool vintage thing for junk journals, possibly. But if no one's interested, then I'll just give them back to mum and she will send them to the Red Cross. One of the favourite things I got off mum lately is this gorgeous little tin. I am so turning this into a watercolour pa palette. I just love it. When I saw that it was Paris. Although the Eiffel Tower looks like it's leaning a bit. Miranda says, I have a large folder of similar type pattern things that I might pass and bless someone else. No one does. Uh, no worries, Melinda. Okay, drink of water time. Time to take a breath. My brain's fried, I think. <laughs> I haven't talked much. Is that a good thing or is that not normal? So... I went to Paris for my 40th birthday, so when I saw this tin on the table, I said, Mum, what are you doing with the tin? That's something else I asked for. I did ask for this one because I fell in love with the tin. So I'm going to paint the inside of this with the Ranger. Oh, I don't know what it's called. They have the stuff that you paint metal with so it doesn't rust. So I will paint the inside of that with that, and then I will – I have some – almost white plasticky type paper that someone gave me and I'm going to put some of that on the inside and use it as a paint palette because that is adorable um and then I have a box of my Christmas presents <laughs> oh, yeah. this one wasn't really a Christmas present what this one was was mum went to spotlight and she had a voucher and she didn't have quite enough to spend all her voucher. So she picked up the peachy collectibles. So captured in my heart forever. Start each day with a grateful heart. Leaves, grateful, bless, always love words. Thankful, flourishes. Butterfly, always love butterflies. <laughs> Some more leaves, tassels, <laughs> uh, leaves and bubbles. Savoring life and all its magic. Roses, leaves, more bubbles, a fan. Making today one to remember. There is sunshine in my soul. A clock. It's the little things in life. The best is yet to come. Grateful for this moment. A flourish. Lots of roses. Another butterfly. Roses with leaves. And some bigger roses. And then some tags. Blessed to have you as my friend. There are so many beautiful reasons to be happy. So that was just a random gift. <laughs> Nice that my mum thinks of me when she's shopping as well. I dropped the tassel on the floor. Oh no. I've got it back it's in the packet. We are good. Fine, yeah. Now, mum gave me some big distress inks. This is funny because she gave me black soot, tea dye, and tea dye. Now, if any of my crafty friends need these colours, let me know because I actually own all the first 48 colours in the big ink pads. 
so I don't actually need any of them. And then she gave me two minis, Peacock Feathers and Squeeze Lemonade, and I don't actually have either of those in a mini, so I was very happy to get those two. I only have 32 <laughs> minis. Just trying to remember how many is in a tin. <laughs> or it could be 28 minis. So now I have 30 minis. That's 32. And then she gave me Memories, Hero Art Shadow Stamp, Soft Lilac, Soft Peach, and Soft Green. Very curious about these colours. I have work experience in this. I do have one of their newer shadow dye inks. The first couple of times I used it, I didn't like it. But I think it might have been the paper I was using when I bought it. I was away at a craft show and I can't even remember what I stamped on, but it turned into a greyish kind of pink and it wasn't very nice. Then Colour Box Fluid Chalk Ink Pad, Deep Green and Very Licious. I like the look of that colour. I should just look on there. <laughs> You're colouring in the Candy Crush book. Uh, what colour is the Candy Crush like logo? It's on the front cover. Then a bunch of 2B pencils, which come in handy for both me and Miss Assistant over there for school. Yes, it does. Now, I'm not sure if I bought Reeves watercolour paints, but if I haven't, then I've got a full set of the Reeves watercolour paints to test out. Fine watercolours. And these haven't been opened. They're still in their plastic and there is. Chinese white, lemon yellow, medium yellow, brilliant red, crimson, phthalo blue, ultramarine, sap green, viridian, yellow ochre, burnt umber and ivory black. And they are 12 mils. They're in the, somewhere in the ten to twenty dollar range over here. Then I already had these, but I won't say no to more alphabets. So these were the Audi ones, and I think they were this year's Audi ones. Oh, last year, end of last year. Sorry, I forgot that we're in a new year. So I just yep. loved those colours, especially that one. So definitely not saying no to get another one of them. Okay, I'm going to move these aside because I have a couple of bigger items now. And I'm pretty excited by these because they are actually very hard to get. Oh, hang on. Soft pastels. I forgot they were in there. I haven't really used pastels before either. I have. Because they're very messy. I have used them. Never have too many alphabets. I have used them. They are very messy considering that I only use them in visual arts last year right before our art exhibition. So first of all, she got me Distressables. So this was one of Tim's first books. This is not, I know there was a couple that actually have things to use in them, but this isn't one of them. This is just a techniques book. So that's pretty cool. And then she got me Distressables too. So that's pretty cool as well. Beeswax collage. What? Yeah, let's have a look at that one. That sounds interesting. I'm sorry if you can hear my sharpener. sharpener. <laughs> Memory blocks. I'm not going to draw with my brain. So that's pretty cool. And then, because I'm very, very, very lucky, she got me the original Compendium of Curiosities, which I didn't actually own, so that's good. And that has a lot of different techniques in it. Some of them, if you've done Craft Online... No, not Craft Online. Some of them, if you've done... Online card classes are techniques in that as well. 
where he shows you step-by-step -step videos how to do them. And then she gave me Compendium of Curiosities too, which I do actually own, but I don't like to use it because my sister and I actually went to a Tim Holtz class and he signed our books. She had both. I only had the original one. So now I'll use this one as the one I can look at while I'm crafting and not be scared it's going to get dirty because it's the signed copy from when we went to the class. <laughs> and the class was really cool too. I had a really fun time at that. I always, I actually wanted to do the um, business ones, but you had to be a had had to be part of a business to do the business one, which was a full day, really awesome one. But I didn't get to do that. That would have been really cool. And all those people that get to go to the creativation ones, oh my goodness, that would be amazing. Is that American? Is that the American one? That's in America, yes. Okay. We don't have much left now. Yeah, it's only 9.56, so it's not, so it's not that long of a while, no. surprisingly. I was in Vinny's the other day. I did buy myself a shirt, and I'm getting bored. I've had the same shirts for five to ten years, mostly. I have a couple of new ones, but I'm getting bored with the older ones I have, so I wanted something new. And so I grabbed a shirt from Vinny's. And they had this, and I thought, that's got to come home with me. It has a couple of colouring pages done in it. Oh. Um, and it was only $3.50. But there are lots and lots of Star Wars colourings. Now, I would love to be able to reuse these a bit. So I'm thinking I would end up photocopying them to colour them because, like, I think, is it Queen Armadala here? So you got Queen Armadala on one side and Obi-Wan on the other. How do you choose if you want to colour with markers or if you want to mount it on something? So I... Um, when I get a new printer, I'm thinking of investing in a better printer. I usually only get the $40 specials, but I'm thinking of getting a better printer so I can have better quality prints and less issues. Because I've had two cheap Canon printers and they've both had the same issue. If you print on the lower quality, it um, or the regular quality, it leaves gaps in the printing unless you print in higher quality. So... I really like that one. I think that's my favourite one. I wonder, I wonder if Miss Assistant knows who that is. Do you know who that is? Yoda. Yay! Never watched Star Wars. R T R D. Oh no. Isn't it R D E two or something? R two D two. Never watched Star Wars. And and K nine is K nine in Star Wars. Wookie! Oh. I have no idea what that says. Yes. Chewy. Yeah. So I thought that was a pretty cool oh. buy. But oh, as you can yeah. see, there's some colouring in it. I, I like Jar Jar. Why does everybody hate Jar Jar? Is Jar Jar that golden person? And see, that one's coloured. I'm not upset that Darth Maul is co covered in that. doesn't bother me too much. <laughs> I do yeah. like these Yoda pages, but yeah, I can photocopy them and just is, use the lower. Is Jar Jar the, metal, the golden metal person? No, that's C-3PO. Hang on. I wanted to know that. I, I didn't know. It. Wicket! I love Wicket. I've always loved Wicket. I even watched all the oh, Ewok movies. <laughs> I had a, had a brain meltdown then. I couldn't remember. Where's Jar Jar? There's Jar Jar. That's Jar Jar. Everybody hates Jar Jar. I thought it was funny. Yay, a fellow Jar Jar fan. No, Darth Vader. Okay, now I have just a few things that I picked up from the reject shop. And I will be done. Oh, and a couple of projects that I thought I might show you. Now, 
this isn't crafty, but when I was doing, I ended up buying too many, but when I was doing all the cleaning for my house and things like that, and I wanted to put some stuff away, I got these vacuum bags from the reject shop. Now I have original space bags and I hate them because they always, no matter how hard I would seal them up, they would always let air back in gradually. I got these and they are still vacuum sealed shut. I was able to vacuum seal some of my older clothes and put them in suitcases to, um, so they took up less space, except for the one that the cat called, which I duct taped over the top of and it stayed, <laughs> it, it, it um, stayed down after I duct taped over the top of it. Plus but duct these are amazing and they're only $7 for two bags. And duct Tape fixes everything in Australia. <laughs> so if you need some storage bags that work, these actually have a screw-on lid so the air doesn't get out as easily as the proper space bags. Should I show them this last my colouring book? You can show them whenever you want. Last. <laughs> then they had a bunch of things that they were getting rid of. I can't remember if they were 50 cents or a dollar. And I don't really have many silver, so let's have a look. Oh, Karina says, Beauty is smart move with the duct tape. Duct tape works with everything. So the paper clips were a dollar. Then I've got these sticky notes and these sticky notes. And oh no, can you have a look in that purple bag? There is one with a yellow packet. If I can get up, can I? Ooh yellow or something rainbows and stuff whatnot. Oh, so yeah. these were a dollar for two little sticky note pads Where? that purple bag oh goodness then i grabbed these headphones because they were six dollars and we tend to go through some headphones in this house for some reason this foil tissue wrap was three sheets for a dollar lots of stuff on clearance there's the cats again. Don't mind the crinkling noise. <laughs> Is it this one? No, I've got that one. And I've, I've got those two. I'm pretty sure one of... Yeah, that's it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Incoming. Incoming. So this one has oh. Fabulous and the cloud throwing up a rainbow which is weird but they were a dollar for two sticky note pads so I grabbed them because I make these with them so a dollar for that is pretty cheap can I just like lay here to sleep because I'm comfortable down here <laughs> and then finally they have a new sticker book so they had the mermaid one last time, and now they have the unicorns, I think. Is, is this an, is this a new one? Did I, I don't remember showing this one. I don't remember buying this one. If I did, I apologise. Short-term memory. <laughs> but I, I really don't remember this one. So this has lots of unicorns, stars, hearts, rainbows, kitty cats, drinks, cameras. And we have some bigger unicorns. I can't do Sparkle this wherever you go. You are one of a kind, born to be magical. Celebrate and magical wishes. It hurts to do this now. Oh, do of course, it. I got a damaged one. And then, um, unicorns. So sparkly. Gold. Yeah, they're gold. Just checking. And then we have some word what? sheets. No bad vibes. One of a kind. Be the best vision of you, best friends. Val ra radiate positivity. positivity. Original. <laughs> original. You are a star. Love. Hooray for rainbows. Dream big. Besties. You are made of stardust and magical things. Unicorn at heart. Melinda said hadn't seen unicorn sticker book yet. Mine is being really slow on getting the rest of the arabesque stuff. It's driving me nuts. I go in there every week to get the to look for the ephemera and the journal cards 
and they don't have it. I'm sort of getting to the point where I'm contemplating actually doing a Rosie's Order studio, which is slightly more expensive. But um, if you spend sixty dollars on the Rosie's at on the Rosie Studio website, you get free postage worldwide. Oh, sixty dollars? That's fifty dollars US. I think it's, it might be about sixty-five, seventy dollars Australian. Isn't it bad if I can't do his prints anymore? But they also get extra things over there that we don't get with the collection. And it is, even though this one, the paper, not this one, but even though the paper pad, show me, can you pass me the paper pad behind you? This one? Yeah. So okay. even though this says the craft store, they're actually Rosie's Studio just rebranded for the reject shop. So, um... They have a lot of the extra stuff on their website if you are interested. I should get back into the Reza. So this one says, create your own magic. Happy, you are magical. Stay unique. Smiles, besties. XO, special. As long as we can dream, there will be unicorns. Sparkle every day. Believe in yourself. Go get that dream. And unicorn squad. Yeah, so I, of course, grabbed two of them. Mostly because I absolutely adore the foil unicorns. <laughs> and I couldn't resist. And then another little project share. I can't remember if I've shared these before or not. It's a pegs. Uh, decorative pegs. These ones are Magnetic. on magnets so that they can go on the fridge. Um, I'm just so happy seeing much arabesque, just the die cuts, but didn't Ours... grab them trying to be good. Ours don't have the die cuts. Ours just has the paper pad. And even the la one of the ladies that worked there couldn't believe that we hadn't got the extra stuff because we're actually usually one of the first that gets the paper craft stuff. It sells out really fast. Some of them in our um, reject. reject shop. Some of the collections I have seen for months on end in some of the other reject shops I've been to in Sydney. But we only have the last few. There's a tiny little bit of um carpe diem left some dream in color and something else so this is what i am teaching to ladies at a women's craft group on friday thank goodness i have the dye to cut the rosettes so we don't have to sit there scoring rosettes to the nth degree we only have two hours to make the pegs so <laughs> two hours. yeah the class is two hours oh, you should take me there and i'm going to take my ebosser and a few other things but most of the stuff is provided in the class so i just need things like scissors because they only have giant scissors you know the giant scissors you usually have in your kitchen drawer they have them and so trying to cut down the sides of these would be a bit harder with that size scissors so I'm going to take some small scissors in because I have lots and a few other non-consumables but they have all the glue and everything else that we need so anyway miss assistant wants to show you her book that she got finally for because she was going to get the book when she finished oh. cleaning her room Ow. which she finally mostly finished cleaning her room for once <laughs> so she wants you to see her um, oh this one says soda crush where's the rest of the soda crush that's weird no this the tree where's the rest of the pictures mm -hmm. seriously i paid for this and where is it <laughs> make up your own so delicious designs okay so there is some soda pop sugar crush <laughs> soda crush so somebody loves candy crush I play it on and off sometimes, but because I usually play it on my phone and my arthritis in my shoulder is getting pretty bad, I try not to play too many games on my phone because it hurts too much. <laughs> I think I have it in this in my left wrist, which I find pretty bad, but today is not because it's a little bit It's so delicious. <laughs> yeah, so delicious. So, Miss Assistance played... All the versions. Yeah, I think at one point she had every single one of them on, did, on, on her phone. I did, then I deleted it. <laughs> so, <laughs> it took like at least three gigs on my phone, so I'm like, yeah, they can all go. 
thank you for joining me. If you are interested in those things that I said I would share, please do send me a message on my Facebook page, oh, a private message on the Facebook page because mm. I am forgetful and I forget everything. Yes, that is true. <laughs> but if, if I don't write it down, it didn't happen or it doesn't exist or I'm not doing it. <laughs> Even if you tell it to, you still forget sometimes. We're going to okay. say goodnight. It's 10, 10. And we will see you all next time. Bye. 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 Are you going to turn it off? Okay. Thank I'll you. Um, my wrist, I've got my Good night, everyone. Bye-bye. Thank you. Which one do I press? There's a circle. <laughs> There's a